Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Nick collection. Now, we looked at this a few years ago, but this is a revised version, so we're going to go and have a look at what the Nick collection has to offer. Before we start, I just want to say this isn't a sponsored video, but I would like to thank the guys at DxO and Jessica at Bleak PR for reaching out to me about doing some videos on the Nick collection. So I'd like to thank them for supplying the software and give me the chance to do the video. So start off with, what is the Nick collection? Now, the Nick collection is available by a company called DxO, and it's a suite of plugins that work with both Photoshop and Lightroom. And as the name suggests, it's actually a collection of different plugins that work alongside Photoshop and Lightroom to enable you to enhance and edit your images. And it can be downloaded as a free trial from DxO. When you're downloading the Nick collection, it'll actually scan your computer and see which compatible programs you have on there and ask you which ones you want the Nick collection to work alongside. Here I've got it working alongside Photoshop. So the next time you open up Photoshop, you should see this window, which is your Nick Collection Selective Tool. If this isn't showing, so let's turn this off. If you go up to File, come down to Automate, in the drop-down list there, you will have Nick Collection Selective Tool. You click that, and that brings up your Selective Tool. And as I've said, the Nick Collection, as the name suggests, is a collection of plugins for Photoshop or Lightroom. And each plugin will work on a different area of imagery. So the first plugin is Define 2, and this is to help with noise reduction, Vivaser, which is a way of adjusting colours and brightness and saturation within your image, HDR FX Pro, which will enable you to make high definition range images from your photographs, Analog FX Pro, which will give you analog effects looks to your images and allow you to stylize it as if it was taken on various camera types. Color Effects Pro, which allows you to deep dive into your images and really affect the colors on selective parts. Silver Effects Pro, which is a fantastic black and white conversion program. And Sharpen Pro, which obviously, as the name suggests, is a sharpening tool. Now, what we're going to do over the next few videos is we'll go through each part of these individually. To start off with, we'll have a quick look at the Vaser, just to give you an overview of what kind of things you can do with the Nick collection. We'll do another video on the Vaser and dive a bit deeper. But this is really simple. So basically what I've done here is I've opened up an image that was taken in Yosemite National Park last year. This is the Half Dome, which is a beautiful area of Yosemite. If you ever get the chance to go there, take it. It is the most stunning part of the world. So we have our image open here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down for Viveza, and we have Viveza 2, and we'll click that. And as you can see, the Nick collection is now opening as a separate layer over the top of Photoshop. And now we have the Viveza window open over the top of our Photoshop image. So any work we do here will be purely on that secondary layer. It's not affecting your original background layer, so it's non-destructive, and you can return to your original look if you want. So let's have a look at the basic window of Viveza. In the center here, obviously, we have our image. At the top here, we have options for selection tool, or a pan tool, zoom in and zoom out, an option to change the background color. At the moment, we're on a neutral gray, dark charcoal gray, light gray, and back to neutral gray. So we've got, and the third one here hides the adjustment panel and opens up full screen. On the right hand side here we have our adjustment panel. At the top it says add control point. I'll talk about control points in a minute to demonstrate exactly what they do. But to start off with we're just going to look at the global adjustments here. And as you can see the first of the global adjustments is brightness. So if we scroll to the left hand side you can see that we're darkening the image down. If we scroll to the right hand side you can see that we're lightening the image up. If at any point you want to return the slider back to zero just double click on the slider and it returns back to zero and there's your set point. Next down we have contrast. If we lower the contrast down going to the left hand side you can see the, the image becomes a lot flatter a lot with a lot less contrast. If we move it to the right hand side see that it increases the contrast within your image. Again double click on that to bring it back to the center. Next is saturation. If we move the saturation to the left hand side you can see it starts to desaturate the image. If we move it to the right hand side it boosts the saturation within the image. Next down is structure, and structure works very similar to clarity within Lightroom. If we bring that to the left hand side, you see that it starts to soften the image. If we bring it to the right hand side, you can see that it starts to punch more detail into it and give the image more structure. The next down we have shadow adjustments. 
bringing it to the left hand side darkens the shadows bringing it to the right hand side lightens the shadows next then we have warmth so if we bring that to the left hand side it cools the image down giving it a bluer cooler feel if we bring it to the right hand side it warms the image up giving it a more ready orangey tone and then below that you have red green and blue adjustments for each of the color channels your rgb channels so boosting or lowering the reds boosting or lowering the greens boosting or lowering the blues and finally at the bottom we have a hue slider which will adjust the hue within your image so if you really wanted that <laughs> so if that's the kind of look you're going for that's great but that gives us finer adjustments on the hue so let's just do a really quick adjustment on this image just by using uh, the basic global panel within Viveza so first off I think what we're going to do is we're going to darken the image down a touch so let's bring the brightness down and we're going to increase the contrast just a touch now a lot of what I'm doing here is more than I would normally do on an image this is really just to demonstrate what the difference is with Viveza so let's desaturate it slightly we could boost the saturation but I think if we're boosting everything that's just going to make it too strange so I'm going to desaturate it ever so slightly and let's bring the structure up let's add some more detail into our image out there okay so now we've made some adjustments we want to see where we've got to so far now that's where up in the top left hand corner we have these three options here now the first option is your single image view which is what we're on at the moment the second option is what's called split preview so if we click split preview you can see now that we now have a line down the center of the image on the left hand side of the line is our original image on the right hand side of the line is our adjustments and what we can do is we can move this backwards and forwards so that's our original image and swooping in that's the changes we've made so you can see quite easily how much of an effect you're having upon your image and next we have side by side preview if you click your side by side preview that gives you the two options here you have the original image at the top and your adjusted image at the bottom and you have a little icon in the middle if you click that it will make it as a side by side so we have our original image on the left hand side and our adjusted image on the right hand side personally if I've adjusted an image I like to use the split screen preview because you've got a full screen view of your image and it's very easy just to scroll backwards and forwards to see where you've got to so let's go back to full screen we're back to our full screen image now let's do a little bit more work on this let's say we want to cool it down a little make it look a little bit more like it was winter time rather than summer's day and we can pull the reds down as well by pulling the reds down you're introducing more green by lifting the reds up you're introducing more red so actually I'm going to lift the reds up very slightly just to bring that back in it's same with the green if you pull the green down you're going to introduce more magenta into the image if you boost it up you're going to add more green into the image so let's add a little bit more green into the image there just a touch and finally the blue once again if we pull the blue down that's going to add more yellow into the image we boost the blue it's going to add more blue into the image finally we've got our hue slider here which will just adjust the overall hue of the image itself so I think we're going to leave that at zero okay so that's a really basic run through we did the split preview again there's our original image and there's the adjustments we've made just by moving a few sliders in the global settings on Viveza now one of the other really powerful things with the Nick collection is what's called control points so at the top here we have a section that says add control point if you click that and then come into your image you have this little target area click that and now you've got this entire set of drop downs which represents exactly the same as you have in the global settings here and what we can do is we can use this just to affect a certain area of the image if you click on the top slider you can see that we have a circle and that shows us the circle area of influence that we're going to have and now we can just adjust certain sections of our image so let's say we want that a little bit brighter there 
we want a little bit more a little bit less contrast a little bit more saturation to add more blue back in and we're going to take the structure down here so that we're not getting any artifacts in the sky and we'll boost the blue ever so slightly so there we go we have our control point and you can see that it, it, it we can now move this around if we wanted to have that over here we can have it affect that part if we wanted to affect more than one part of the sky what we can do is we can hold down alt on our keyboard or option click and drag and now we've duplicated that control point to a second point and again we can now adjust everything there accordingly and we'll do one more click and hold drag that up to there and we now have a third control point this one's obviously slightly too big for that area of the sky so I'll bring the area of influence down there and there we go so really quickly, with just a few moves in Verveza, we've made quite a big difference to this image. If we do the split preview again now, you can see now on the left-hand side is our original image. On the right-hand side is the adjustments we've made. So that's where our image started out. That's with the adjustments we've made, just by making a few adjustments to the global selective area and adding a couple of control points. So really, really simple. So once we've got our image looking the way we like, click OK. And that's going to bring us back into Photoshop. And as you can see now, we now have two layers on this side. We have our original background layer and our Viveza 2 layer. So if we turn that one off, that's where our image started. That's the adjustments we've made using Viveza. And if this is too strong, you can always adjust the opacity here to make a mix and match of the two. Or if you want to save as it is, now just shift Control e to blend them down into one layer. So there we go, that's a really quick overview of Viveza within the Nick collection. We'll come back and we'll do more videos on the specific sections of the Nick collection. But it is a really powerful set of plugins that can really enhance your images in a lot of different ways. For now, I'm Dave Vickers, this is The Photo Show. Please stay safe and well, and we'll see you in the next episode.